What's up guys? My name is Dominic and welcome to the Reviewer Executioner Corner. Today's review is going to be on a LCD digital microscope. Um, I believe the name of the company is called Tom Love. I hope I'm saying that right as normal. Um, always different seller names, always pronounced a little bit differently. But um, anyway, this seems to be the um, basic boxing. I think they're going to be upgrading the boxing maybe at some point, but we got the first um, raw version of it. Um, the device inside is um, exactly how it should be, how you should be um, getting it in the mail. So um, there's nothing further for that. But basically, like I said, it's a very basic box. It just goes over, you know, what it is. Um, nothing really crazy says digital microscope. Nothing on the side here. Just some basic model numbers, possibly for different countries. And again, saying it's a digital microscope. All right, so let's just dive into this. Um, just as everyone knows um, from my videos, we just go over what it is immediately. I don't know what's going on in the box at all. Um, so I'm new to it, you're new to it. So I, I, make, I think that makes it a very creative video. So nice protective packaging, very nice. As you can see, everything's sitting in here correctly. Um, nice safeguards to everything. And we have our little uh, guide here. So it says Tom Love. This is pretty much a display. It looks very cool. Um, very excited to actually try this out. Um, just because I I work as a scientist myself. Um, and I work with microscopes all the time. I do have a couple of portable digital um, microscopes as well. But nothing really with the giant screen. Everything is really app related and uh, works with your phone. So very cool. So let's pop this out here so you can see I'm guessing this is the scope down here i can see there's some led lighting um possibly this is the turner to adjust it and so some basic things so we have the button to power it on menu um, different angles to turn it back and forth okay switch photography so very cool and I can see that it has a screen protector. So we will take that off in a little bit. Let's keep diving in. Um, not really too sure what this is. Okay, this is just like a little power brick. I don't know if you guys can see that. It just has little prongs here. You're probably just gonna plug it in. So um, we'll look at that later. Um, we do have some screws, an Allen key, possibly to mount it correctly. We then do have a little 32 gigabyte uh, memory stick so that's kind of cool too um, then we have our charging wire or wire device um, let's see further in here we do have a uh, cleaning cloth you know clean the screen maybe clean the little scope area i don't see anything else in here what else is here so this seems to be the pole possibly to um hold up the whole entire thing so very nice made of metal um, nothing plasticky so far see another wire so not sure why we have two but we'll obviously figure this out as we go then we have a nice little remote that's kind of cool too so um, different ways to probably achieve whatever you're looking for looking at so you have a video setting and a camera setting um, and then we have to pull the tab to get the battery going and then sorry for a little shake of the camera we have the little adjustment knobs here tighten it i'm sure yep so you can see as that goes down it tightens and another area here too so very cool um, these feel like plastic plastic body this one actually this is metal so um plastic plastic metal still very cool um looks very unique put that to the side as well and then what we have here the base but the base is kind of underneath everything so i think we got to lift this okay and there we go okay so we have the whole entire base we have some more lighting which is very nice uh, it seems to be very bendable um so you can get a better look at whatever you're looking at um so very cool there i'm gonna leave that in the box for the time being so um with the next steps what i'm gonna do is i'm pretty much going to put all of these parts together um, give you guys a little demonstration or just a little idea as to how I put it together and give you an idea of how long it took me 
and then we're going to demonstrate it. We're going to try it out on some different things and see how it actually does with, um, you know, taking a closer look at microscopic things um, to a micro um, aspect. All right, so um, stay tuned and we will get to the next portion. All right, guys, so um, like I said, I wanted to do a up close on the um, installation process for this. So um, just to start, basically, you have a pole here and the pole is pretty much going to go down towards here. And if you can see, there are two um, screws that you're going to be putting in here. And um, once that's done, it pretty much keeps it all in place. Um, so I would keep it nice and tight because it becomes a little bit top heavy off there. Um, this is already attached to this, so this is the dimming switch. Um, and the reason why I have this plugged in, I don't know if you guys can see, but we'll get a better view. Um, it plugs in over here. So basically, this guy already has like a battery inside of it, and it charges this down here. So you don't need um, power at all times to this. I do suggest having it plugged in. Um, so you'll be plugging in the C uh, charger and then plugging that into USB on the little uh, charging block and then plugging that into the wall. So um, pretty easy. Um, probably the only other thing is um, back here. You do have this little area where you're going to be sliding this down onto. This little guy keeps it tight in, in place. Um, so obviously just tighten it as much as you can. It does have like a little bit of a, a rubber tip so it doesn't scratch this, uh, which is great too. Um, so over here also, this is the knob to bring this up and down. I don't know if you can see that, but let's see if we can get a better angle. You can see you can shift that up and down as you please. Obviously, if you need to look something a little bit closer, you can bring it down the pole. Um, you want to be weary about how close you bring this down as well. But um, that's pretty much it. It's very basic. It's not very hard to do. It's pretty much just, you know, putting this on there and tightening some screws. Otherwise, everything else slides right into place. So um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick display. Um, how it looks and everything like that and um, you know test out a couple items so let's go on to the next all right guys so we are back and what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a couple things so I just want to focus here so we do have a piece of bark from outside um, a quarter and we do have a like a little bit of, like a circuit board here um, to give you guys an idea so um, I think that would be great to look at and examine underneath the microscope like this um, just to show you basically turn this on and we do have a screen protector still here. I know if you maybe you saw a little scratch, that's just honestly from the plastic. So as you can see, we have a camera, we have video, and then we have the log on which you can look at all the um, past videos and camera shots that you've taken. I don't have the SD card in here just because I don't need it just yet, um, but obviously they give you one, so that's great too. Um, we do see the battery signal here. Um, it's about halfway. Um, and then we have some time and some dates. So obviously these are not correct. I have not gotten that far yet. And another thing I do want to show is we do have the um, remote here. So we do have a camera picture setting and a video. Um, we do have different buttons here. So I don't know if you can see, but if I click, I think up, it turns the uh, light uh, pretty much down. If I go down, that brings the brightness up. So very cool there um, actually let's go over the other things too so um, I don't know if you can see up there is display but if we go to the left then we have video and then we go into the SD card mode but um, we have nothing there so we'll go back to the camera as well as if you click this button it will bring you to the settings so if we unclick that it'll bring you some more settings and if we click it to the left then we have Obviously the settings now for the video goes back to basic settings and we have that there. So very cool. Um, so remote's really nice. Definitely if you're trying to do like a display or, or if you're doing a, um, I, I don't know if you're doing a conference or something like that, that you want to show it off correctly. Um, probably the remote would be cool. So from there, what we're going to do now is we are going to take a look at these guys. So we do have some very bendable, lighting so not only do you get lighting from these but you also get lighting from here like i said we have that dimmer so if i can find it back here there we go let me turn it back on turn it up we'll keep it like midway 
and then we have some um, different um, things going on here. So we're going to focus on the circuit board here. So we're going to put that down here. I don't know if you can see, we're just trying to center it. Display is a little off. Put that there. And then as we twist this, we get a better visual look at everything. And again, like I said, we have the knob back here I'm using the wrong here. I'm sorry here. I'm going to have to switch. And we can bring this down. So bring it a little closer. We will change this a little bit more. And we have some very great visuals on the board itself. So obviously if you're one person to be looking at circuit boards, I think this would be excellent for you. Um, obviously you can find the correct soldering points and um, obviously change out whatever you really need to. Um, obviously you can read those a lot better than just looking at it at the circuit board itself. So I think this would be very great. And obviously you can bring this and adjust this a little bit closer too. So if you need to see it better, but very cool. So we will be taking this out and we'll be switching it out for a coin. So let's see if we can get the coin centered here first. And you can see that we have the coins display here. So obviously let's see if we can get a little bit better and we can see all the little nicks so we can see some scratches going on it's a little dense type of thing going on you can see the number straight forward the nice picture going on um so very cool there definitely um better than looking at a straightforward microscope um don't get me wrong i work in a lab myself um so i'm always used to taking my eyes and putting it through those little um visual eye display modules at the top um, but I do like a screen like this 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 honestly helps with my eyes and I'm not straining them very hard so very cool very nice and obviously if I want to turn up the lighting here we can take a look yeah, there we go so we have a better lighting so very cool there so next we'll be taking this quarter away and we're going to look at a piece of bark here. So pretty straightforward there. And there we go. So we'll just straighten this out a little bit more. And we can see all the different patterns and all the different crevices in which the pattern, pattern of the bark has grown. Um, we can see a lot more different coloration going on um, from outside view to kind of like brown, darker uh, darkish brown maybe a little bit light brown but you can see all different colors on smudges and cracks and crevices going on here so very cool with that um, I think this would be great for anyone that's in the science field you know the technology field I'm sure there are other fields that would do very beneficial to a microscope like this um, again I work in a lab I have professional microscopes all around me all day long um, but I am highly impressed by something like this um, just because it has a bunch of settings, has better visual with the screen itself. Um, and, you know, you can do pretty much everything um, that a high tech microscope does on this guy as well. Uh, and, and that's not being like we're, we're going between, um, you know, something that's I, I'm going to guess this is between the hundred to two hundred dollar range. Um, on something at a microscope at my lab would be a couple thousand dollars worth. So I really can't find a huge difference. Um, so great visualization, really love it. Very easy to use, bendable lights, extra lighting here, very twistable, um, very easy to maneuver. Um, so very happy with that. Again, we are running out of uh, battery life right here. so. I'm not going to say it's probably going to have the longest battery life without it, but it does exactly what it needs to. So guys, if you are looking for a microscope that is high tech, you know, has everything at your display, very easy to set up, um, no real hard work to it. I'm going to recommend something like this completely. So again, I hope this video gave you guys an idea of what to expect in the package, out of the package um, and the display. And I hope you guys have a great day. Please do subscribe. It always does help. And if you have any questions, please do comment below. 
Thanks and have a great day.